Hello. My name is Leroy, the lonely Playmobil man. Today I'm contemplating if I should kill myself or not. Uh, would you, would you like to hear about how lonely I am? Great. I'll start at the beginning. I have a wife named Patricia. Patricia is the source of all my misery in this godforsaken world. We've been married for eight years, although it feels like an eternity. An eternity in hell. I don't think that she loves me anymore. She doesn't look at me the way she used to. This makes me very sad. When we first started dating, Patricia told me that she wanted to wait until we got married to have sex for the first time. I reluctantly agreed, but soon began to regret my decision. I hated the fact that I couldn't have sex with my own girlfriend. I have an addiction to sex and pornography. It all started when I was a child. When I was seven, I stumbled upon one of my father's Playboy magazines. I was hooked instantly. The images of naked women fascinated me. This event would scar me for the rest of my life and has led to me essentially ruining every one of my relationships with women. Patricia and I have had sex a total of two times throughout our eight years of marriage. First time was on our honeymoon to Miami. This resulted in our first child, Molly. Second time and the last time we had sex was five years ago, which resulted in our son, Sam. My wife has not touched me in five years. I've not been hugged in so long. I crave physical affection. I would like a refund on my wife. Perhaps Patricia never loved me to begin with. I, I think she would have gotten a divorce already if it weren't for the kids. She loves the kids. A lot more than she loves me, and doesn't want them to grow up with an absent father figure. Although, sometimes, I think my children would prefer it that way. Molly doesn't like to talk to me and always has an attitude. Yeah. Often I accidentally make Sam cry. The stress of my sexless marriage has caused me to develop an addiction to cigarettes. I keep my addiction secret. Patricia's parents died of lung cancer a couple years ago, so she hates people who smoke. Once, last year, Molly caught me smoking. At first I was scared she was going to tell her mother, but I think that she just kept it to herself. Now I'm honestly a little scared of her. I feel as if my own daughter might blackmail me at any moment if I step out of line. This intensely scares me. Sometimes after especially stressful and lonely days, I like to relax and wind down by taking a shower. I let the water run and I'll just sit there in the tub for a long time and think. Think about a lot of things. Think about everything. I like to think of this process as personal therapy sessions with myself. Although, my two hours of solitude are usually interrupted when Patricia will start angrily banging on the bathroom door. Mm -hmm. 
She's always bitching to me about wasting water. Anyways. Today I decided to call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. When I called, nobody answered, and I was left on hold for three hours before I decided to kill myself. Decided that falling to my death would probably be my best option, so I found a bridge overlooking a highway, and I jumped. I hit the ground, and I waited, and nothing happened. I then realized that I can't kill myself. I guess because I'm a toy. It's pretty disappointing. And now I'm here. At least now I have you. Right?